because you believe he was not a man walking righteous as a man he didn't come in the flesh because it was god doing it it was god in jesus walking righteous well of course god can walk righteous but i can't um oh no jesus died for my sin so therefore i can keep on sinning because jesus died for it because it was god in jesus walking righteous i can't be expected to walk righteous you my friend if you believe that you're saying god you're, he did not come in the flesh. You're saying Jesus did not come in the flesh. And therefore, the Apostle John says, you are not of God. You are not a Christian. And now that's going to elicit two responses from you. First of all, you're either going to hit pause on this teaching and say, oh my God, Father, forgive me. I've been excusing myself to sin and I'm sorry. I believe you came in the flesh, that you walked righteous as a man. And I can too. And I repent. And, and I'm going to walk righteous from here on out. Or you're going to be the kind of person that somehow finds an excuse to nullify what I just said. And you're going to harden yourself even further into your sin. Remember Romans 1, that downward progression of, of people who held the truth in unrighteousness, which means they changed the truth into a lie and became more and more unrighteous. The recompense of their error that was me, they, this downward trajectory further and further into the lie and further and further into unrighteousness. The same thing is going to happen to you based on uh, 1 John because you don't think Jesus, you don't believe Jesus came in the flesh. You don't believe he walked righteous as a man because if you say he did, you no longer can excuse yourself to stay in sin because if he walks sin free, so should you.